So let's go through some of my favorite modifiers. And one of them is not the subsurf. Let's have a look. So the first modifier is kind of a modifier. Look, it involves a modifier, but it's the lattice tool. So first thing I'm gonna do is shift A and we're gonna add in a lattice. I'm just gonna scale it up and make sure it encompasses the whole model. Let's now jump over into the lattice area. I'm just gonna increase this to four, 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 just so we've got an extra geometry in there. From here, I'm gonna select the model, come into the modifiers, add modifier, and we're gonna select the lattice deform. Let's now use object, select our lattice. And now from here, what we can do is select our lattice, click on it, and then we can start deforming our model. And so we're kind of giving this, you know, almost like cartoony style to this building. It does work with other things. So I have used it on spaceships and uh, space hulls and such, but you can see how we can just deform a model as a whole. So the next modifier is the build modifier. So add modifier, build modifier. If I press play, you can see that the model builds itself. That's pretty cool. So it goes kind of like almost like piece by piece. Um, if I go into randomize and we go back to the start, you can see that it almost transforms as it randomly picks faces to spawn. Some cool things you can do there. Have a think about that. Now the next modifier that I use is the displace modifier. Now I'm not gonna use it on this castle. I'm actually gonna incorporate that with another modifier, but let's first have a look at the displace. So I'm gonna add in a mesh, Icosphere, let's bring it up there, scale it up, tab into edit mode, right click, subdivide, 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 whatevs. From here, add modifier, displace. What we need to do is add a texture that will make the object displaced. So let's go new. I can click on this little thing on the right hand side there at the very end. Image or movie, we're just gonna make that clouds. There we go. Let's come back into the modifiers, strength, maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.3. And there we go. You can kind of quickly see how we can add distortion to a mesh. So the next modifier is the Boolean modifier. Now we use a lot of this in hard surface and so on and so forth, but with our mesh that we want to cut out, selected. Let's go into modifiers, add modifier, Boolean. Let's select our object. And what I'm going to do is actually solver is going to be fast. So if I press now H, we can see that we've kind of cut a chunk out of this building. Now I will put a video in the description on how to use the bull tool, which is a free add on. So check that out. So at the moment I've got the mirror tool set up and that's because I'm mirroring this decal. So I'm going to apply a decal to my little sci-fi racer here that I've created. Um, and we're going to be using the shrink wrap tool. So from here, oh, sorry, shrink wrap modifier. So from here, add modifier shrink wrap. We need to have a target, which will be this piece here. And you can see that it's kind of projected on there, you little ripper, no, no, not yet. We're gonna change snap mode, nope. We're gonna change wrap method to project. We wanna project it onto that mesh. Um, from here, sometimes it might not go across, so we have to do negative as well. So it'll go either negative or positive, depending which way the normals are. And the other thing I like to do is set the offset to maybe 0.02. Oh, that's a little bit too much, maybe 0.002. And what that'll do is it will just sit off the mesh rather than sitting directly on the mesh. And then if we kind of go into rendered view, you can see that we've applied a decal onto the sci-fi eraser. So with the next modifier is the solidifier modifier. Now I normally use this to create my sci-fi panels. So here we've got the default cube. Let's delete the default cube, shift A and add a cube. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate cube shift D right click and on the second one when you go add modifier add a solidifier modifier now the thickness I'm gonna leave it as is offset I'll make it zero and that way it will expand it both on the positive and the negative normals and we'll make even thickness press tab to go into edit mode and let's go into wireframe what I'm gonna do here is right click subdivide subdivide just to give it a little bit of extra geometry let's grab this edge control B to bevel and just a small bevel, delete faces. Let's go tab into edit mode, back into solid. And you can see that we've now created a bit of a sci-fi panel there, kind of maybe even like a box with a lid. That's kind of cool. And then we can kind of start going around, control B, delete that face. 
And there we go. You can kind of see the you put more work into it and you can really create some really nice sci-fi panels. So with the last one, we're going to do a few things. We're going to kind of create a radio tower really quickly, or we could do make a crane, whatever you want. So for instance, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go GZ, expand that, and we'll make that a little bit of a triangle. I'm going to add a few edge loops in there. From here, I'm going to select everything, space, and I'm just going to type in triangles. And we want a triangulate face, so you can either press Control F as well. And so now we've got these triangle faces. From here, I'm going to go into add modifier, and we're going to go into wireframe. There we go. And when I press tab to go into edit mode, we can see that we've got a wireframe of what we've created. Now we can obviously make it a little bit thicker. And there we go. We've made a wireframe. How cool is that?